houses across the land Look far and wide and the lights of the trends Yeah, that's my cause Low-rise, bloomers, mini skirts, dinner Platforms, five and use fringes, have a vibe Eat scalp, scrape course, see-through cancers Futurist, maximalist, monochrome, upcycling Did you like my trend poker app remix? I reckon it deserves a like like right now Please click the little thumbs up Anyway, happy new year guys I reckon it's a great time to do a fashion trend forecast for 2022 Share my thoughts on what I think of them with you guys And some tips on how to start them. I trawled through the entire TikTok universe, basically clocked the internet and distilled all the information into 16 key trends in 2022. Disclaimer, the following is just my personal opinion. Please seek a fashion professional if you disagree, but do leave me a comment because I would love to know what you think of these trends, whether you love them or you hate them and what's your favourite. The idea is to turn the comment section into a forum so we can exchange fashion ideas and we can all look mega stylish in 2022. Let's get into it! Low rise. Or I should say your metro. It's going to be a trend in 2022. Like I said in my Trendy vs Timeless video, which you can check out by clicking the card here. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this trend, but it's here to stay. In that video, I discussed how I don't think the low rise cutting is very inclusive. Some of you reckon by saying that, it's saying um, only people that have a flat stomach can look good in it. That's totally not the message I was trying to get across, but I think it's a great point to discuss further. I'd personally love to see more women with different body types rock the lower eyes trend but when I was doing the research for my last video I honestly struggled to find any examples of people without a flat stomach or aren't super thin. It seems like this trend is being underrepresented by people with a different body type or size from the examples I can find. My question is why? In my opinion the core of the problem is that Fashion trends are created by major players in the industry and then they get popularized by celebrities and influencers. And quite often, these trends are marketed in a Eurocentric or non-inclusive manner. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment because I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, if you feel comfortable wearing this trend and you want to try it, it doesn't matter what shape or size you are, just go for it. Do follow the Wikipedia Biggie Small Styling Rule, which means if you have a tight bottom, go for a big top and vice versa. Mixing big and small items will give your overall silhouette a little more visual interest and it will make your outfit look a bit more stylish and sophisticated. Bloomers, not boomers. A lot of people are really excited about the bloomer trend. They reckon it's the new bike shorts. I personally prefer the bike shorts because they have a sleeker, more timeless look. Bloomers could potentially look a bit too romantic and diapery for my liking but they do look very comfortable and with the right styling i reckon they can achieve a high fashion look i would suggest going for longer ones instead of the real short high cut ones so they don't look like sleepwear and they look more sophisticated you can also go for ones that um, don't puff out too much on the side so they don't look too childish mini skirts a mini skirt in my opinion is an evergreen fashion item it copped a lot of hate in the past for being too risque and unsophisticated because of the slut shaming culture that kind of thinking is so outdated i think it's all about how you style them to make a mini skirt look more high fashion i would suggest is going for a bigger, louder top to give your overall silhouette a bit more dimension. Instead of lycra, slinky fabrics, I would go for something with a bit more texture. Stiffer, more structural fabrics will instantly elevate the mini skirt and make it more stylish. Denim. Denim is going to be everywhere in 2022. Think Canadian tuxedo, basically a denim overload. The 80s, 90s baggy silhouette will continue to be a hit. You'll also see a lot more interesting details like fraying, patchwork, abrasions to give the overall for a denim trend a more organic sustainable vibe. One trendy must have denim item is the denim skirt. Mini, midi, maxi, any length goes. I personally love this trend because I think denim is an evergreen fashion item. If I was to invest in something denim this season I'll probably go for a thick denim shirt or an oversized denim jacket. They're just so easy to style. You can go for a head to toe denim look if you pair them with a denim bottom or something made from another fabric if the whole denim thing falls out of the main trend. It's basically a timeless investment. Platforms. 
The 70s platform trend will re-emerge in a big way and it doesn't matter what the shoe type is. Platform boots, platform sandals, platform Mary Janes, platform everything. For a timeless investment, I would suggest going for something a little less dramatic. I wouldn't go for shoes with too much detailing, for example, the bejeweled look or shoes with lots of buckles or the platform ballet shoes which are very trendy right now. I know they are great statement shoes but they will go out of fashion very quickly. I would invest in something 4 inches or less with um, textures, colours and styles that are more neutral, say a pair of black or brown platform oxfits or a pair of platform boots. Vibrant hues. We'll be seeing a lot more saturated hues this year. Here are some trending colours of 2022. Cobalt blue, hot pink, neon colours like neon orange and yellow and green. Green will continue to be very popular, especially Cali green, which is a green that is way brighter and way more saturated than the sage green that dominated Gen Z fashion in 2021. If dressing head to toe in a highlighter coloured outfit is too bold for you, you can still participate in this trend by getting accessories like bags, shoes or sunglasses to add a pop of colour to your outfit. Fringes. Fringe is back guys. This trend originated from the 70s hippie movement. It represented not only a fashion taste but a way of life. Towards the end of 2021, we started seeing designers exploring the fringe detailing on the runway to create these playful, flirty silhouettes that look great, especially when you're moving. I'm not big on this as a trend. I'm okay with designers borrowing certain elements to create visual interest, but I personally don't feel like I can do the fringe aesthetic justice without fully understanding the culture and the lifestyle. I'd suggest not going ham on this trend. Don't be tempted by designs that are too dramatic, for example, lots of crocheting or some crazy bedazzling details. I reckon some of them only work on the runway and they don't actually work on an everyday outfit. Go for something like a classy cami or skirt. The idea is to use the fringe item as an accent piece to your outfit instead of getting carried away by the trend. Cover vibes. Remember the fluffy trend with the afghan coats and the fluffy cuffs? Fluffy fans, please don't hate me, but it's so 2021. The puffer duvet look with quilted details is apparently the new fluffy in 2022. I love this trend. I don't think it will be timeless, but I think it's super cute. It still conveys the idea of comfort without looking too extra and too deliberate. If I was to invest in this trend, I'll probably go for something a little understated and a little less distinctive, say a quilted jacket or a puffer bag in neutral colours. These items can add texture and structure to your everyday outfit, but you can still use them if puffer falls out of the main trend as an accent piece. Head scarves. Head scarves and bandanas are making a huge comeback in 2022. I think it's a great fashion accessory which can save a bad hair day and elevate any outfit. Head scarves might not always play a part in the main trend, but I don't think they'll ever go out of fashion. Instead of the 90s Y2K vibes, which could look a little too kitsch, the 2022 way of wearing a head scarf is a lot more sophisticated, sleeker and monochromatic and overall has an edgier vibe. Go for neutral colours like black, brown, beige or grey and try monogram patterns for an elevator look. Grandpa core, or I should say grandparent core. If you don't know what it means, neither did I. It's basically an aesthetic with a whimsical, vintage, comfortable vibe, something your grandparents would wear. I reckon this trend is very comforting amongst the crazy, bold, chaotic Y2K aesthetics. Think soft knitted, cozy fabrics, old school patterns like tweed or plaid, and modest silhouettes like buttoned up shirts and long skirts. I love it. I reckon there's a new form of minimalism with a bit more vintage vibes. Pieces like sweater vests, long skirts, and knit cardigans are super versatile and they're great to invest in. As long as you stick to the neutral tones and avoid bubblegum colours, I reckon these are great pieces that can straddle both the Y2K and grandparent core aesthetics nicely. See through. Mesh and sheer pieces will continue to be a hit in 2022. Fishnet pieces will also make a comeback. Basically anything that is see through will be on trend. What's different in 2022 is that there'll be more experimental knitting techniques, irregular cutting and layering. Like extreme cutouts, mesh on more mesh, which gives a free flowing futuristic look. 
I reckon see-through fabrics are great for layering. If you want to participate in this trend, I would suggest going for one or two statement pieces, which would become your go-to when you want to wear something that wows the crowd. If they're distinctive and unique enough, even if the whole see-through thing falls out of the main trend, layering a statement see-through piece will always make you look like you know fashion. Catsuits. Catsuits are no longer costumes. They're the official uniform of 2022. Remember the uni tart trend in 2021? I reckon the catsuit is a more fashionable, elevated alternative. I like this trend because it requires minimal styling. You can achieve a bold, high impact look with literally no styling effort. But I won't go crazy on this trend. I would suggest only investing in one or two pieces and opt for something slinky and fitted. So you can layer a jacket or a blazer over the top for a more sophisticated and interesting silhouette. This also means that you can visually break up the catsuit by layering a jumper over the top for the days that you don't want to wear it as a one piece or if it falls out of the main trend. This is futurism. Ironically, the futurist aesthetic is surprisingly retro. Going way back to the 60s, designers like Pierre Cardin already did the whole intergalactic space inspired look and is making a comeback in 2022. Taking visual cues from sci fi movies and sci fi literature, there's a lot more innovative experimental cutting lots of metallic and shiny fabrics and over the top silhouettes on the runway. For the everyday style, I reckon this trend is something to dabble in but not to overcommit to. I would suggest going for one or two statement pieces like a dress with dramatic fabrics, maybe a shiny like metallic texture or flipping the logic completely and go for something with crazy architecture but in neutral colours. Think Isimiyaki. It's a look that will stay fashionable even if futurism falls out of trend. Maximalism! The maximalist aesthetic is excessive and eclectic on purpose. The idea is basically more is more. It's at the heart of couture fashion because of its intricacy and extravagance. Sequins, footwear like sky-high platforms, gladiator shoes, statement clocks, loud jewellery like chandelier earrings, chunky charm bracelets and necklaces, they will all make a massive comeback in 2022. I actually think maximalism in fashion is a personal style choice. So whilst it's trendy in 2022, I reckon it's a timeless aesthetic. This trend is a little hard to master in my opinion. If you want to try it out, I would suggest to start slowly. Invest in one or two statement pieces, maybe a sequin skirt or a top, or some accessories like chandelier earrings and maybe a chain belt, or some statement footwear like clogs or platform shoes, just to begin with. I would try styling these items and work it into what you've already got in your wardrobe before committing to buying a bunch of loud pieces, which would require a lot more styling effort if you're not too used to it. Monochrome. The monochromatic aesthetic is like a style cheat sheet. You instantly look put together when you wear similar shades from head to toe. I love this trend. I think the payoff is huge when you consider how little styling effort it needs to be. If you're a beginner of this trend, one thing you can absolutely invest in is a monochrome suit set. If you want to ride the 2022 color trends like I mentioned before, go for something more saturated and more vibrant. But if you want a more timeless option, then go for something a little more neutral like a brown or a beige or black and white. The idea is that if the whole monochromatic thing goes out of fashion, you can still wear your suit jacket and pants separately and just get more bang for your buck. Upcycling. I want to end this video on the trend of upcycling. I think it's a great way to draw attention to the problem of overconsumption and overproduction. A lot of designers and brands have already started reusing existing fabrics and materials or deconstructing pieces that are unsold from a previous season to create new garments. I love the idea of giving new life to old clothes. If you're not good at sewing like me, you can always support brands that are already practicing upcycling. I'll leave some links down below so you guys can check them out. Like this top I'm wearing right now, I actually bought it from a vintage store on Brick Lane when I was in London. It might have been an old player's jersey because I'll turn around and you can see. There are all these 
autographs at the back. I think it's so cool to be wearing something that carries a bit of history. That's it from me guys. Which 2022 trend was your favourite? Which one did you like or hate? Which one would you participate in? Leave me a comment because I would absolutely love to know and if you disagree with anything I said, feel free to comment as well because I would love to discuss with you and hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me to have your support. Every time you leave a comment, I read it and it just makes my day. And because of you guys, I finally hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Futurist, maximalist, up. Futurist, man. Futurist, maximalist, upcycling. Ah. Futurist, maximalist, monochrome, upcycling.